Hello everyone, this is Daryl Modine, uh, Chair of the Governance Committee. have a great opportunity to, um, to work with a bunch of great folks on this. As you know, this year the National Board voted almost unanimously for us to go ahead and vote using an electronic voting system this year. So we're really excited about what we've been able to provide, taking LULAC really into a whole other century. So come along and we'll show you how it works. Last several days, LULAC, our staff and volunteers have been busy trying to set up this whole voting booth to have it ready. So sir, can you tell me, what do I need to do to go ahead and vote? Well first give me your credentials please. Okay, so let me go ahead and I'll pull that out. My credentials pouch, here you go sir, I'm a certified delegate. This looks good, let me take you over to the booth. And wonderful, thank you. First we need to scan your credentials so that we can log you into the system. And now you can sit down and start voting. Beautiful, thank you. I'm in the voting booth and you'll see the very first screen, it automatically logs me in, is it says, welcome delegate, you'll now uh, be able to vote in four easy steps. First, I need to select the candidate. Second, preview, um, preview the votes. Three, submit the final vote. And finally, the fourth step, which is really like a third step, is just go ahead and log out. So we're gonna go ahead right now and we're gonna use our mouse. Okay, you're gonna see it here, it's just a regular mouse. In addition though, it has this wheel here that's gonna help us really scroll up and down the screen. So I go back here. I click on proceed to ballot and then I'm going to see and we're going to finalize the order here the morning of the assembly I get to see all the races I get to see who's running in those races etc now a couple of quick notes about the system you do have to vote in every race or in every question that's being asked whether it's amendments or those types of things so I'll go here and you're gonna see I get to select one candidate for each race so for right now because I don't want to do any bias I'm gonna go ahead and just select abstain for each race and you're gonna see to go down to the next race all I'm doing is I'm just turning this little net mouse button here and it takes me down to the next race. So abstain. And if I make any mistakes, it's okay. I can go back and change those. So I'm going to just click on each one of these as I go down. Abstain. Abstain. And you can see all the pictures of all the individuals with their names that we are voting, uh, that are running for office. Okay. Here we go. Abstain. There's that not so good looking gentleman. Abstain, 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 once again, and we're almost coming to the end. And once again, if, if there's anybody new, we'll be sure to go ahead and add them. And I'm just going to just, whoever is first, I'm just going to click here right now. The races, I have to go ahead and vote on the amendments as well. And then, I get to go to preview ballot selections, right? Right away it takes me to, okay, in the national president you selected abstain. In national VP for women, abstain. So let's say I go through all these and I find that I did click on the wrong, the wrong uh, selection. I can go back to click on change my ballot. I could go and change, but once again, I'm gonna just leave everything at abstain. And then once I'm comfortable with my selections, I go all the way down to the bottom again and I click preview my ballot selections. I review them all one last time and yep, I'm good. That's who I want. So I can then click on cast my ballot. Okay, at the very top it's going to say, are you sure? You're getting ready to cast your ballot. You hit OK. And then it comes back to me and says, OK, we've sent everything to the database. Here is your electronic voting receipt just to prove that these are the things we wrote to the database, right? So yep, everything is right and I just go ahead and click on log out and I am done. So it's really as easy as one, two, three, and four, with four just being log out. So we're really excited. We know this is gonna cut a ton of time out of the assembly process. And more importantly, we wanna make sure that you, our valued member, you know, really enjoy and have a good National Assembly experience. So we look forward to seeing you on Saturday. Thanks again for being a member of LULAC and for all your efforts in the community.